the news in you. Northeast, west, south, unite from every alley in Cali intersection and back street. We have the Asian American community being attacked, but they're being attacked by people that attack people. But they're tending to want to use that against the black American community, which is, is not cool at all. I did a video on this a while back ago when I said, no, it's not the black community attacking the Asians. It's people attacking people. People do crimes. We're in a troubling time right now and people are doing a bunch of shit and people do. I iterated that black people kill black people a lot. Black on black violence is heavily saturated in black communities. But the point I wanted to get at was, it's crazy now because they're nitpicking anybody that's black. Rappers like YG. They went all the way back to his 2014 song called Meet the Flockers. Where they did a skit about doing robberies in more wealthy communities, Asian communities and whatnot. And they want, they tried to get it banned from YouTube, but YouTube said, no, we're not going to ban this content because it's for educational purposes. It's basically a documentary type thing of what people do, right? So they refused to ban it. And that's a good thing because to me, it's like they're changing the narrative we're going to get the narrative off of black people being violated. And we're going to make the Asian community the new violated. But we've been violated for over 400 years. You can't put that on a scale and weigh it and make it way right. And it, it just don't make sense. For one, blacks are not the only people that are doing crimes against Asians. You have whites doing crimes against Asians, all kinds of different nationality, but you want to point the finger at one group. No, we got to stand up as black people and say, no, we're not falling for that shit. They had Rihanna on there doing a protest march on the anti-Asian attacks. That's fine and dandy. Anybody can march with somebody that's been violated. It's not a problem at all. Because when you look at it, on the grand scale of things, when black people were being violated, and this is not just of, of late, all the times we've been being violated, who was there marching with black people? Asians? No. Hispanics, no. White people. All this George Floyd and the many, many of us that have been violated, who do you see out there marching with black people? You see white people. They're the ones you see out there marching with us for our cause, right? Flip side of the coin, they're also the ones that's violating us too. It's almost like the perpetrator is going to rescue you. I'm going to violate you and save you. Come on, that's that's a mental ball game. That's a mental ball game, people. Stop playing and wake the hell up. And then they went to X to the Z. They went an exhibit about his company. It's the Napalm Company. So they want to go at his company because it's called Napalm and say, no, he can't use the word napalm. Nope, nope, and let's, let's fight against him. So they trying to drag him all over social media for using the word napalm, which even in his interview on TMZ, he told him napalm comes from my 2012 album called Napalm. So you get it? You got YG 2014, Meet the Flockers. You got X to the Z exhibit 
2012 album, Napalm. And now y'all going to go all the way back and we're going to attack them. We're going to disregard everything that has been happening to black people for over 400 years and still happening to black people. And we're going to just give them all that. Y'all need to cut it out. No, or we need to cut it out. And I always talk about that when I'm talking to my peeps. I'm like, bro, y'all don't even know what to fight for. See, this is something worth fighting for. We all need to be speaking about it. How are you going to try to ban an artist for what he creates? Why'd you create that? Exhibit, that's his company, his brand, and his album before it became a weed company brand. But just because some people are getting attacked and violated, you're going to say, no, we're going to get at them. That's basically what they're doing. And we're not even paying attention to it. Basically, they're attacking us and blaming us. They're blaming the whole black family. Yeah, I know some of us are too lame to figure that out, but that's what they're doing. They're attacking us while we still skipping around on our merry way, thinking everything is everything. We got to wake up, family, because there's some bullshit out here that's being put forth against us. And if you don't pay attention to it, you're going to miss the whole thing. It's, a, it's really an attack on the black family because they've already tried to attack us every kind of way they could through violence, through drugs, uh, through economics. And we still here. It's like they said, them niggas still here. So now they're using a 2021 angle. We're going to just, let's make it as if they are attacking somebody. So we can get all right to do what we want to do to them. Come on, you got to use your head out here. I know you're smart, don't be a retard. And I'm going to read what Exhibit said on his Instagram about the situation. And when you hear it, you got to listen closer. You can catch the subliminals that he's trying to tell you. Exhibit said, as I look at this thing, it breaks my heart to be dealing with these small groups of people attempting to paint me with a broad brush. You get it with a broad brush. So that means if one person violates an Asian, we're going to say it's all the black people. We're going to paint them with a broad brush. We're going to paint all of them. They all did it. And he went on to say, I can't help but to think back and remember I did a show called Pimp My Ride and historically pimps aren't known for being nice. So it was okay for him to say Pimp My Ride. He could use pimp slurs. You can use nigga slurs. You can use all that, but it's okay. Nobody's going to come and go up against you to try to uh, dismantle your brand. This is why I am saying, family, don't miss the big pick. It's okay for everybody to nigga this, nigga that. That's fine and dandy. Why? Because they know we're not going to complain about it. We're going to just keep on moving through life and trying to get our just due. We're not going to trip off of it. Now, you put that word nigga, which is really racist, up against a word called napalm. First of all, the black family didn't make napalm. The United States made the napalm bomb that they used in Vietnam. But no, you want to shut this man's company down. He didn't, he didn't make up the napalm. And you know, I always talk about it on here. No, the way you solve a problem, you got to get to the root of the problem. The root of the problem is the person that made it. The person that named it napalm. All I did was reuse it for a flip on my music. And now on my weed company, you know what I'm saying? And he went on to say this. He went on to say this. They claiming the word napalm is racist is a reach. 
They're saying his company called Napalm is racist against Asian Americans. But in 2012, they didn't say Napalm was racist against Asians and Americans. Same thing with YG. When he did his thing in 2014, nobody had no problem with it. So you're going to go back into the past and dig it up, right? And say it's racist. Well, God damn it, we all should be able to go back into the past and dig it up. And we're going to be at the first of the list to dig it all up if y'all want to dig it all up. Shouldn't we be able to dig it all up? If y'all going to allow everybody else to dig up the past, we should dig up the past. But every time we try to dig up the past, y'all come with some other shit. See, it's that bullshit. And he also, Exhibit, went on to say, the TMZ story is misleading at best. Because you got to watch these channels that we go on. TMZ. Vlad TV, Adam 22, all these uh, social media sites and channels and vlogs that really try to make, a, make you look bad, make us look bad as a group and as a whole. And he also ended it with only one dispensary took his product off of their digital shelf. And he said, this is some one-sided bullshit. Which it is. I've been tracking this thing for a minute. It's bullshit first and foremost. And it's definitely one-sided. Because you want to paint the picture as if the black family is the only ones that are doing violence against Asians. When it's not true. But we're definitely the ones you're going to most likely show on your news media channels. You're going to make sure our shit is known full public. Yup, the niggas did it. Because that's what they do. You know what I'm saying? They do it all day long. But family, I had to bring that out and give a big ups to X to the Z exhibit for damn sure. But you just have to read what he's saying. He said they painted me with a broad brush. That's what they paint you with. They're not even using a brush. They're using a roller because they're going to roll out what they're going to roll out because they're going to roll out because they're going to roll out this theory about us. It's all agenda based. It's all agenda based. And we have to wake up and see it. We ain't going to get in front of the rolling ball. We're going to get on top of it and say, what the hell is going on? That's what you definitely got to do. And with that, I'm going to say this is the news in you. North, east, west, south. Your night from every alley in Cali. Intersection in Back Street. Subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up on your way out the door.